Okay, so I found this excellent simple installer the other day uh, and it was on the Pi Labs YouTube channel uh, and it's called Pi Kiss and uh, there are various things you can do with it and uh, some of them are very, very impressive as you can see on screen now. Super quality, this is non-overclocked, this is just the ordinary 32-bit version of, of Raspberry Pi OS and it's just performing brilliantly. So you can see it's lovely and smooth. It was already configured for my controller. Everything is working and looks amazing. Okay, to install PyKiss, all you need to do, uh, there is a video on PyLab's channel uh, with the creator of it, and uh, he's done an incredible job of this. Uh, but if you just go to the video, Hi. Uh, there is a link, uh, and I'll put a link to this in the description, uh, for the GitHub, which is here. So you can just open that up and you can read about everything that it does and uh, any changes and things that have been recently added. As you can see at the top, what I was just doing was been recently added. Uh, Diablo, Mednafen, uh, which is a multi-system emulator, all sorts of things. Uh, and if you want to install it, all you have to do is scroll all the way down until you see this bit and copy this text. Open up a terminal, right click and paste and then just press return and that's it. That will now install PyKiss uh, which is a, a way, it's a bit like a, almost like a software store but, but it does a load more things as well. There you go, so now it's installed, you can go to System Tools and PyKiss. Now I had it before where it didn't actually appear, uh, yeah, so I haven't got System Tools here uh, but if I go so home Pi Pi Kiss. So if I go to folders, and I don't know if it, it, it appeared after a reboot and then it didn't appear after a reboot, but uh, let's go to that folder. And then we can double click on that, execute in terminal, and it comes up. So here we are. And there's all sorts of things you can do. I urge you to watch the video uh, by the creator because he really goes into great detail and knows obviously exactly about his creation. Uh, it is brilliant. So there's various different tweaks in here, uh, CPU performance, programs you can get rid of and things like that. I'm not gonna go into that. Uh, the games you can see on here, there's various different games that, that will auto install and find all the dependencies and all the different bits that you need. Uh, and I wanted to try Descent because uh, I haven't played Descent for years and it was in there in uh, his video and it, and it looks great. Super smooth again. It's a bit like Doom, but you're in a in like a spacecraft, and so the movement is very different. But it, I used to really enjoy it on PC. So you can see it's it's doing all the hard work for you. So it's finding everything, tracking everything down, putting it all together. In some cases, it says you need to provide the original game, and I haven't come across one that that you need to provide extra with yet. But uh, we'll see what happens with Descent, because it does say it's the shareware edition. So obviously, it could all be in here. There you go. So uh, games D1X Rebirth or games D2X Rebirth. So it's Descent 1 and 2. Let's try that. User games D1X. Okay, so this is the game. Uh, so WASD is strafe. Uh, so W and D is strafe. W and S is forward and back. And then I've got. Uh, and I haven't really got used to controls, but up and down on the cursors. I was thinking I'd use the mouse, but um, it's cursors on this. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? But it's so I'm just going to fly around for a bit because it's super smooth. I do need to change the control because I really would like to be able to use it with mouse. Oh. I'm not supposed to fire at that, I'm supposed to get that then. Where's that? Where's that? Where is it? Oh! Disoriented. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yeah, it needs to do a bit more practice for that, but that's great. So, super, super easy to install. So, let's hit escape. Come out of that. I will definitely revisit that. And that takes us back to the menu when we quit out of that. Uh, and so you can see, so if I go through a few more things, so games, you could see all sorts of things that were on there to auto install. And we've also got emulators. Uh, so what we got, we've got Genesis, Mednafen, which is a multi-system emulator, Caprice for Amstrad, SNES, 
a MAME emulator, ZX Spectrum, DOSBox, which is excellent, Amiga emulator, Game Boy Advance, big fan of Game Boy Advance, MSX, uh, PIFBA emulates old arcade games using, I don't know what that is, uh, and SCUM, which is uh, for point and click adventures, which is good as well. Uh, and then we go to info, weather info from your country, check some distro images to know if they're up to date, monitoring tool, uh, benchmark, security, auditing tool, test internet bandwidth, when, there's all sorts of things in here. It's incredible what he's crammed into this. Uh, so multimedia, help you install apps. There you go, so multimedia apps. The AirPlay mirroring function, haven't really looked at that much on the Pi. I think it's the older Pies, I'm not sure. Uh, so configure. He talks about how it could configure things that you're installing, but obviously you can check the GitHub to look a bit more in that in detail but joypad configure Wii and xbox 360 controller configure ssid let's go back internet all referred to internet not sure uh, use your distro as a server help you for making your own apps yeah that was mentioned in that other video so definitely check out that other video he'll tell you a lot more about it than I can um, but it is really interesting and uh, it's a great way of getting more content onto your Pi so I'm going to go off and play Descent for a while uh, and hopefully get it working with my mouse thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe